Yes. Don't have anybody from Bookhouse this year, but it's a dandy side to send before it. Can you agree in this lot? Right, vital two legs for Jenks now. He's trying that bit too hard. He's sitting on eight points to Mardle's ten. If Mardle can play the real Mardle for the next two or three legs, he'll get a big win, which would take him right on the heels of Manley. Could be well in touch with the top four, or even in it, Wayne, in about ten minutes. Jenks still finding the right bit, the red bit. Make the point that Jenkins does look very tense and very nervous up there. He can tell that he's up against it. Just those two points of drift of Manley, Mardle and Lewis. And there's that drift again that is really plaguing these players in this game. That was Mardle that time. Sign of nerves. Start what Taylor calls pushing the dart, meaning you're scared to give it its normal flight. So in fact, you hook it. Not hooking this time, though. Oh! Yeah, wants it, wants it. And Jenkins is all at sea here. He's under the cosh, on the ropes, and Marble steps up for 5-2. Won't do it on this visit, so Jenkins, quite simply, has a big, big visit of the board now. Spot on, nice, that was pressure. He had three of these last week, over 100. Double 13 for a banner. Oh, look at oh, What an effort that was. Now Marvel, double 18. Now we'll go nines for 5 2. Halfway to Hounslow, that dart, and that! That pressure getting the Marvel. The tighter it gets, the more it's going to favor Jenks, I think. Five for double four. Snatching on it. Ruby Red with tension! The fourth ring to Belt and Allied. It is delicately poised. And Mardle needs to take this with the throw just to keep that advantage. So vital to win with the throw. Gotta say that a point to Mardle is more useful than a point to Jenks. Jenks would be on nine. Still a drift of well a drift of three people above him. But Mardle will go above Manley for the time anyway, if he can get a point. I still think there's plenty of twists and turns between now and the end of that night on May the 1st in Newcastle. There's the flight of Terry Jenkins. They're looking very much to enhance their scoring here. The average is up to 85 now for Mardle. Jenkins on the verge of breaking through that 80 barrier in terms of a three dart average, 55. 92 for the tournament. Well, it shows the tension, 80 average Jenks to an average 85 to Mardle, and that's gonna be good. Wade is on fire, 4 nil down, then took it in Lewis last week. Check, Wade was on fire last week against Mardle, 4 nil down, but Manley, Manley's the great upset merchant. The 5-3. Once the 60. 60 would leave a nice little two dot point. Yeah, he'll be back for that, Mardle, and Jenkins just has to put that seed of doubt in Mardle's mind now. It's a decent start by Jenks. 134. Is it ever? Jump on his bounce here, we've got to get this, you feel. Double 18 and tops. This will be the shot of the night. Yeah. Oh, it is! What a Could see it right for him. Shot of the night so far. Absolutely, Sid. He's uh, had 17 attempts at the double so far. He's only hit five of them, of course, uh, because he's got those five legs. 29% checkout rate for Mardle, but you get the feeling he's just stepping up his game a little bit. That's equivalent to Michael Vaughan trying to hit his six over square leg with a reverse sweep. What a shot by Mardell, deserves to win. Nice cover. Look at his business-like face on his chops. He's in the zone wow. now, isn't he? There we see the double checkout stats. 43% Jenks, but 
Earlier running the leg, he's just been stifled by Mardel. Had a tremendous match a year ago against uh, Ron Van Barneveld, then the world champion. Shared 7-7 seven, seven with 107 average janks. Wow. He's gonna need a bit of that kind of caliber now. They're riveted. 6,000 folks. Tungsten happy. Yep, because we're in London, a lot of them have Nine come straight seven. from work on the tube to uh, the Wembley tube station, which is the bottom of Wembley Way here, in the shadow of the Bobby Moore statue in the magnificent new Wembley Stadium. Bring me your huddled masses. Have a quick swally, and then give a big tonsillectomy here. Why Brian and Mardle did a couple of these last week. 121, 124, the shot's on. Two double tops, braveness! So, fine line, fine line, Nigel! Pressure on Jenkins now, 67 he needs. Lovely start, going for double eight now. Wow, has he blocked it? It's not easy. Oh, magnificent! Just when the pressure was on, Terry Jenkins has responded in style, and there was a bit of a delay there. The crowd were unsure whether he got it, but it's game on here. He was very not sure if it was in. Beautiful use of the lie by Jenks. A draw. He said very little use to Jenkins. We'll leave him on nine behind three on ten. Mardel with a draw will go fourth to Barneveld. Putting the pressure on Manley. He's coming up next. Every game tonight has something riding on it. Superb dart. Superb second goal. This one's on the road. Oh! Just went to cut of the traffic in the middle of the 60. Lane's in the red bit again. Treble. Oh, magic dart! Yeah, that treble 19 was superb, wasn't it, Sid? Just as uh, Jenkins had had a, a big visit. Mardel perhaps could have felt the pressure. Now he steps up. Needs a big score here. Not enough. Lost the weight. He's lost the weight. Found it there. This was what put up to last year's final. Lots of shots in this range. Top now to lock it up. Five up like. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Knights. 